And good morning. Uh, we're up here in Washington and actually got another gorgeous sunshiny day. Going to hit uh, like the high 50s, which is just perfect. We are uh, putting the top on our, our, our bed here. And you can see in this one that, that we drilled a lot of holes. She can turn around and show you that one. And, and the reasoning for that is there's a lot of things people do inside these. Any kind of time you use propane, propane puts out a lot of moisture. And it's going to get under these beds and just stay there. So you drill all these holes, which I drilled over 100 holes, I think. The, mine are six inches on center. So that's a lot of holes. Uh, but it, it, it's going to keep any moisture from building up underneath there. Like you can see here, these holes go all the way down through. So the movement of air underneath is going to, going to keep your mattress dry. So you have no kind of, you know, if, if you did let it get so far that it actually grew mold and you turned into a farmer. You know, you, you don't want to be a farmer inside your rig. So try to keep it as dry as you can. If you want to grow something, get a little house plant, you know, don't, don't grow mold. So that's the reasoning for this. And uh, plywood only comes in 48 and, and the strength of our bed is this way because we've got these going this way. So we get our strength from going the opposite direction at supports. So these go this way, our plywood's going this way. Well, you only got 48 inches. So we're, we're, we have a back piece, it's screwed down solid. And we're putting a piano hinge on here and uh, what I did is I actually drew a line here where it goes so I won't have it weaving because this does bend kind of easy so you know I'll come like a foot down and maybe put a screw in it and then I'll come because it's about a quarter inch off of it here so I'll push it back to the line and then put another screw in it. That way I know I'm straight on my line. And then I'll come back later and fill in all the, all the missing screws. And what this is going to be is once that piece goes up here, then the whole, this will lift all the way up. So we can actually access underneath here for storage or uh, any service we might need to do for stuff. So, so that's the reasoning that with the piano hinge. Uh, they make life pretty easy because like you see we'll have gas shocks on this so it's going to help and assist once you get it lifted up it'll stay up there uh so that that's what i'm doing in here this morning uh and then so we'll get this in place get our bed top up here and 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 after i drill the holes i do take my sander and just run over the holes real quick because you don't want any burrs or anything like that and and then you could just put your master swipe back up on top of it. And then we'll start progressing out. Uh, I did get my electrical panel, so I might jump over into some electrical. We'll show you that on another video. It's gonna mount up front there. Uh, what else we've been doing? Oh, and I wanted to show you how it, our air gauge down here, like I said, you'll, when, when air gets cold, it loses pressure. See, so we're sitting at what 20 or 30 and it was up to 55 and, and some people would think well I got a leak which which you don't because over time that's been sitting for well five weeks now so if you had I mean even a bubble every hour going out of that in a couple weeks time that would reach zero so as long as you've got air pressure in there, that just means that the, the temperature at night is cooling down the air. So it's got less oof with it. So it's just relaxing. And that's why the gauges go down. So uh, we'll get this cleaned up and maybe do another short clip once we get the top up here. That way when it's let down, and your mattress goes on top of it it lets the air come up underneath through the holes and just just kind of like air movement and we are going to put some gas shocks on it uh, i haven't put them on yet so that that'd be the next thing let's do this today's bucket talks 
It's gonna be about drilling holes. Look at these, all, all the holes are, are real neat and uniform. They're not all outs. So, so when you're drilling a hole with a hole saw, like, so we'll just drill this one through here. Well, battery might die. But on, on the back side of it, you get blowouts. Uh, so it's, it's not as smooth as the front. So whenever you're, you're cutting with the hole saw, uh, so you drill halfway through it, and then you turn around, because you got your pilot hole already there. So you just turn around on this side. And drill it back through, that way you got two real clean cuts instead of a, a blowout and, and like over here and, and sometimes it's really nasty. This one wasn't too bad, but see how this is a nice clean cut? This one's kind of jagged. So that's how you do it. You drill it halfway through, then you flip it over and you've got the pilot bit. So you just stick it back in the hole and that way you end up with wheels that you can put on a go-kart or something. Uh, but we've got a hundred of them or so. But that's just how you make a clean cut with the hole saw and, and, and other bits too when you drill them the same thing. If you drill a small one, we call them pilot bits. So you drill a small hole and then drill it with the bigger bit. That way you don't get blowouts in it. Time's getting short. Uh, we'll try to get some more stuff done and get another video out. So uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Bye.